Side Hustle Slim Jim here. I want to show you the Comet web browser. I want you to stop what you're doing. If you are wanting to start a side hustle, if you just have, you wanna be more productive, you wanna incorporate AI to make you more productive, this is the biggest bang for your buck because it's free, honestly. And it's completely changed my workflow, saves me a ton of time. You might not believe that if you've tried to contact me and you know it takes me forever to get back to you, but this has helped my productivity quite a bit. So I wanna just walk you through how I started a new business using Comet Web Browser. It doesn't take me any time. I don't have any more time to really to put into anything, okay? I'm building apps. If you're in my app program, you know I'm way behind. I'm a bottleneck for so many things. I'm trying to get YouTube videos out, trying to do my TikTok shop, trying to do my faceless YouTube channel, trying to work through you know family stuff, trying to homeschool the kids. But my entrepreneur, we'll, we'll call it a blessing. My entrepreneur blessing is I constantly am getting new business ideas. They just are always coming to me. And it's like a itch that I have to scratch. Like that business needs to be built, but I don't have the time. What do I do? So now some of these businesses I can just send to AI. Hey, you take this over. You go build this. This business idea came because I have a friend who here in Lincoln whose website is awful. It's like a 2012 website. They and they don't want to work on it. They just want to keep, you know, growing their business. They want to focus on their business. They don't want to bother with tech. They know all this AI stuff's coming out. They know they should have a better website. They know they'd get more customers from the website. But that's not their wheelhouse. They don't really they don't know who to contact. So they contacted me and said, "Hey, could you build me a better website? And honestly, could we just pay you to never think about our website again?" And so then that of course, you know, gave me a business idea. There's probably tons of, you know, plumbers, contractors, dentists. I mean, there's probably tons of people, tons of businesses, local businesses who just don't want to think about their website. They want to just do their business. And so if someone came in and said, hey, we'll build your website, you never have to think about it again. Pay us, a, you know, some amount of money monthly. There's probably a business there, right? But I don't have the capacity necessarily to do this business, run this business, see if this is even a thing. A lot of times you have to do a lot of testing to figure out if a side hustle or if a business is a real thing. Are there actually customers who are going to do this? So I got going on Comet Web Browser. The first thing I did was I went to ChatGPT. I could have used Comet Web Browser, but I used ChatGPT and I just put together kind of a business plan. Like what am I wanting to do? How am I, what am I offering? What should I charge? Things like that. So I worked a little bit with ChatGPT with AI to put together, okay, now I've got a business plan and now I have a roadmap for starting this business. And the first thing I need to do is verify that there's product fit. So I wanna kinda show you, I think that, just think this is pretty cool, but I use Comet Web Browser to find new leads, build a new website for these leads, and then contact these leads and see if they're wanting this new website. And again, me staying completely out of the process. So the first thing I did was I built this little lead spreadsheet, just, you know, the name, contact person, email, phone, website, URL. And then what I did is I went into assistant here. So this is the Comet web browser. So it runs Chrome. So it's, it's a Chrome web experience, but it has this little assistant button. And this assistant is like a AI assistant for you. And then the prompt I did over here in the assistant is, can you find some contractors that have no website or have a website with a copyright of 2019 or older, and then add them to this spreadsheet as a lead? And I always use politeness with AI. You never know when they're gonna become sentient. But then I just hit enter, and then this AI assistant takes over my web browser and goes to work. And it goes through Google, it looks around in Lincoln, Nebraska, and you can see it's already found, I, I ran this, earlier and it found you know 15 or so leads just different companies where they couldn't find a website or the website was an old copyright so it's a very old website those are potential leads so again I, and I just sat back I went and did other stuff I brought up some apps and worked on some apps for a while this took me you know two seconds and now I have AI an AI employee going in the background collecting leads and you know you could do this for any business you know if you're a real estate agent I got a friend who's a real estate agent, he told me, hey, can you use AI to find some leads? Download Comet Web Browser and just say, find some leads. Say what you're looking for, create a spreadsheet, get AI going on that task. And you can see they're going to Yelp to find you know, contractors with good reviews. They'll go to Google. I mean, it'll AI will take over. And if it asks questions, it'll ask you as it's going. 
Okay, and so then what I did is I picked just this Reckling Painting. So shout out to Reckling Painting here in Lincoln, Nebraska. I picked them because they have an email address and they have an existing website. I thought that might be easier than going for somebody who doesn't have any website or doesn't have an email address even. You know, I could try texting these, but that's a little invasive. So I picked this Reckling Painting. And then the first thing I did was I said, and I got this prompt from ChatGPT from that original business plan I put together. But I said, first research the company. You know, learn a little bit about the company, figure out what's wrong with their website. You know, what are the pros? What are the cons? It talks about search engine optimization. Again, I just got this from ChatGPT. You don't have to know exactly, but it says look at Yelp reviews and kind of figure out pros and cons for this business. And then they put together kind of, okay, they have a website, but it's not designed for mobile. It's from the early 2000s. So this is a great opportunity. There's no social media links. There's no online booking or estimator. So there's a lot of room for improvement in this website. So I think this is a pretty good lead for what I'm trying to do. So then the next thing I put was this big, long prompt, which is basically just take what you just learned and build them a website. And again, I worked with ChatGPT to figure to get the best prompt to give to Comet Web Browser here. But I said, give a website that I can send to the customer and say, hey, here's what we would do. Here's what we would design for you. And then I even, ChatGPT gave me this idea, but I even in the prompt, it says, contact humanizeai.pro, which basically takes AI text and makes it sound less AI. And so that's even part of the prompt that ChatGPT put together was, hey, take the copy that you're gonna use for this website, send it to this Humanize AI Pro, and then give non-AI sounding copy for the website. So I just put this all in this prompt and it took Comet Browser about four minutes or so, but then this is what came out after about four minutes is, hey, this website's here, here's the URL for it. We built this website, okay? And it's not amazing, okay? If I built a website by myself, I could make something better, but it's a lot better than their old website, than their early 2000s website. And it's responsive, you know, if you look at it on mobile, it's gonna look great. It has real reviews that it found from Yelp, an FAQ section. And again, the Comet web browser did all this. I just gave it this big prompt that AI from ChatGPT gave me, and now I have this website. So then the last and final step is I said, okay, you have this, now go ahead and send them an email, just you know, offering the free website. And again, I came up with this prompt from ChatGPT, but basically just pitching, hey, would you like this website? Would you like me to set this up for you? I can do it. And then you can see Comet web browser actually logs into my Gmail. And this, you know, might be a little scary. And I told it, hey, don't worry about, you know, asking me, just go ahead and send this email. You might want it for it to just give you the email and you send it yourself. But again, I'm trying to automate as much of this process as I can, but it actually takes control of the web browser, goes into Gmail, enters the email address, puts the email in there and clicks send. So again, this can do everything from start to finish. I haven't really had to touch this at all. And the email it's sending is, hey, I'm James Pelton. I'm a web designer, AI integration specialist. You can see it's working, you know, even as I'm reading this. I was looking at your website, noticed that it had some problems. I put together this new website. Here's the link to it. Would you like this website? And it sends them a link to this and says, hey, you know, text me, email me back if you're interested. So we went all the way from just an idea that I had for, hey, there's this business idea that I have where AI, without me being involved, found the leads built a new website for the leads, sent an email with the leads, and I'm not involved in this process in any way. So this is a really great way. And again, this is just to see if this business is an, you know, is, is this something people want? And I might, you know, do, you do these leads here, probably will outsource it to, I have a lot of junior programmers around Lincoln who are trying to learn. And honestly, if, if a lot of these people reply back and say, yeah, we would love this. I probably will get them in touch with them because I don't have capacity to run this. You know, like and subscribe, comment if you want me to maybe see, it. could this be a completely AI run business? I think it might be able to with Comet Web Browser, Cloud Code, ChatGPT. I mean, there's tools out there. This could be completely AI run. So call to action for you guys is I want you to go to this website and download the Comet Web Browser. Okay, it's completely free. Just give it a shot. Try it. Try something, you know, managing your email, managing your calendar. It can basically do anything you do online, Comet Browser can do and can automate for you. 
So this is a really easy way to incorporate AI into your life. So I want everybody to stop what they're doing, download Comet web browser, and just give it a shot. And let me know in the comments what you're using it for, what you found it to be most helpful for. Again, I, what I wanna do with this channel is really help show you how to incorporate AI into your workflows. Because I don't think AI is gonna replace jobs, but I do think people using AI are gonna replace people who aren't using AI. It's just, it's a tool. It's a very sharp tool in your tool belt, and it's good to know how to use it, or you will kind of start to get left behind. So let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys watching. I really enjoy, I've always been a fan of automation. I used to have a robot lawnmower that people would stop by and take pictures or just automatically. I just have loved automation, and so AI is just really taking automation to the next level. And there's risks, you know, of dehumanizing things and I, I totally get that there's some ethical dilemmas here and there so I would love to know what you think oh I almost forgot too when we're starting new businesses or trying to get new revenue streams I want before you start it you need to get clear what are you gonna do with that extra money what's it for and a lot of times it's just hey I got bills I need to pay I need to take care of my family but I go to Christ Place Church and they have a bunch of different opportunities, like there's Project Rescue, you know, helping women get out of trafficking in, in different countries. They support a lot of missionaries. So, I mean, this could be an opportunity if you create a new revenue stream. You know, if I'm able to turn this web business into an AI website business that makes an extra $500 a month, maybe I can use that $500 a month, not just so I can get rich and, you know, yay, I'm going to get rich. You can't take your money with you. So you want to use it to give. Jesus says it makes you happier to give than to receive. And I believe that's true. I want joy and there's more joy in giving than there is in getting. So just as you're thinking through businesses and side hustles, think about that. How can you use this money to serve other people? That'll bring you a lot of joy as well. So again, God bless you guys. Appreciate you watching and we will talk to you later.